We're doing two different reactions back to back. Marvel's Animations X-Men 97, as well as Invincible Season 2 Part 2. So stick around for both. What's going on, everyone? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? First, we're going to look at Marvel Animation's X-Men 97, the official trailer from Disney+. Plus. If you guys haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please vote this up, let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump into this. Here we go. Oh my gosh, the VHSs and everything. Saturday morning, check your local listings. I'm grateful to have the chance to say goodbye. I am proud of you all, my X-Men. Fate lies in our hands now. 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 Whoa. We have to stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. They made it widescreen. Yeah. No matter how dark it is. We must believe in each other. <laughs> we get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god, at least I get Gambit back! To me, my X-Men. Yes! Magneto. The last will and testament of Charles Xavier. That's Everything sick. he built now belongs to me. What? It's really, really cool that the character styles look exactly like they did mm -hmm. back in the day with the updated. They made it widescreen, like not just like 16.9, but 2.3.9. Yeah. Um, like a proper cinematic widescreen, which is inter an interesting choice for this. The voices are definitely different on some of these people. For me, this feels super nostalgic. Like you said, you know, they've kind of kept the style, the animation style. It's great that they've updated it or upgraded it to that widescreen aspect ratio, you know, like just to give it a sense of like, it's X-Men 97, but it's X-Men 97 in 2024. Yeah. When I watched this as a kid, I, I don't think I've ever actually gone through the entire series. Back in the day, you just watched it when it came on and, and there wasn't an option to, unless you recorded them, which I didn't. Yeah. You know, there wasn't an option to be like, oh, I'll just stream it on demand, whichever episode, whenever I want. So, I mean, it's just, I'm just so excited to see some of my favorite characters because the X-Men will always hold a special place in my heart because they were my first exposure yeah. to the Marvel superheroes. And so I'm just excited to see them back, especially Gambit. Well, one of the things they kept showing you or le letting you hear throughout the trailer was that familiar music. Yeah. It was like the 90s just had like the best songs for their intros, like whether it was X-Men or Batman Beyond or even the Batman animated series, all those shows, even Power Rangers, all those shows in the 90s had fantastic music. And I wish we still had that kind of quality today with our shows. Anyway, I got the side by side of the IMDb and it's not organized the same way. So there's a little bit of cross matching going on here. Um, but let's see, I, immediately I saw with Cyclops, it's a different actor because it's Ray Chase on the new one. And Cyclops over here is Norm Spencer. He did a pretty good job of sounding like the other guy that I remember. Yeah. I'm trying to find Wolverine real fast. And there he also, is. Also, we Wolverine. get Wolverine in this and in oh, Deadpool 3. Wolverine is the same voice. Ah. Okay. He just sounds different for some reason. Because it's like many years after. What is it? Like nearly 30 years ago. Hey, your voice doesn't change just like your face doesn't over the course of 50 years. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Exactly. It's interesting to me that he's the only one that, I mean, maybe some people passed away. It's been a long exactly. time. Exactly, it's been a long time. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, I'm not surprised that the voices sound different. I don't mind that, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Like, it, of course, it's gonna be different. It's X-Men 1997 in 2024. So there's Magneto, and then Magneto here. Different guy. I knew yeah. you sounded different. It's okay. You know, it's like, what, what matters, I suppose, at the end of the day, it's just hard. It's like when, when they switched Mario actors, I was just like, 
you know, because I, I was, I've been playing, or I was playing uh, Super Mario uh, Wonder. I know that, you know, most people don't care that it's not Charles Martinet anymore, but when I'm playing, there's still like a difference in quality in, you know, that I'm, it's not the same familiar Mario that I'm used to. It takes me time to get past that. Hashtag not my Mario. Once I'm past it, I'm fine. With this, it'll take me a moment to adjust and acclimate. I think I just remember Wolverine's voice being more, it just has a different resonance to it. Well, yeah, you know? your voice changes when you get older. Jeez, bub, keep buzzing in my ear. This one's for you, Morph. And I just remember this line that Wolverine says, this one's for you, Morph. As, and you know, it's from the first episode, I think, of X-Men. And he had that kind of quality to his voice, which was lacking here. Right. That's why I was like, that's not the same guy, but it is. He just is performing it differently. I love all of the nods to the 90s, especially having it start with the TV screen mm. and like, you know, you got like the little X-Men toy there and then yeah. you've got like the the VCR, like the VHS tapes sure. and all of that. Like, it was just really cute and nostalgic. Speaking of uh, nostalgic, we have a Invincible Season 2 Part 2. But no, but the style does feel kind of throwback in a way. For it does. Invincible Part 2. Yeah. Uh, Invincible in general. So let's check this out. We're not the best superhero team on the planet. We're a family. Oh. And like any family, we're all messed up in our own unique way. We go around saving lives while oh, that was at cool. the same time. We will rebuild more. Count on that. Your people must need your strength. I'm sure they got it covered. Behold! Omnipotence! Tremble before my unlimited power! Okay, take him down. No. <laughs> Mark, I need you to go to space again. <gasps> what? I just got back. We got a ship full of those sequa things coming in hot. If they get their tentacles on Earth, they'll be pulling our strings forever. Ugh. We told you we were too powerful. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess we're all fucked. How <laughs> <laughs> did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Oh. Answer me. What's the occasion for such a fine suit? I'm visiting an old friend. Oh my god. It is good to be home. Die fast, assholes! My pizza's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Your family's legacy is blood. Ah! No! This is over. I'll never let anyone ever, ever hurt my family! Damn! Wow. Ooh, that looks intense. Who died? All right, thoughts and feelings. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, that obviously, that looks exciting. Like, they ended part one on, like, such a just, like, oh, my God moment, and then now we're just going right back into it, you know? It mm. looks like he stays with those bug people for a while and helps them out and all, but hopefully not for too long because he does come back to Earth to, you know do his job and help people out like i'm just looking forward to the drama yeah. like they're promising a lot of drama a lot of violence which you know we enjoy with this show and i feel like if that's only what they've shown us it, there's got to be so much more mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so i'm excited yeah uh yeah i enjoyed that <laughs> that's it <laughs> i'm just we got there's like they're painting outside right now and it's making me feel a little dizzy from the paint fumes so I'm going to wrap this up so I can get to editing. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.